Hello everyone, my name is Bandit, and today I'm answering a question that about a billion people have asked me, and that is how to install FSANG 18's add-on pack for Minecraft. This is going to be for Forge or Fabric. If you're on Bedrock, I'm sorry, it does not work for that. The easiest way to do this is going to be through using Modrinth or CurseForge, and I'm going to show you kind of how to do the Modrinth side, and then just show you what the mods for CurseForge are, so you can just download them using the CurseForge launcher. So, this is Modrinth. If you don't know how to install it, check out my video. I'll put a card above or link it in the description below. But we want to come down to the bottom left and click the Create Profile. From here, we want to do Custom, and we want to give it a name. And you can do Forge or Fabric. I'm just going to do the Forge, but the process for both of them is pretty much the same. You want to come down to Select Game Version, and you want to do 1.20.1. It will not work with any other versions. Click Create. Up here, it will start loading the mod pack and downloading all of the necessary files. So we're just going to wait for one moment as that does that. There we go. It's all done. So I'm going to Come over to library and I am going to find the temp F saying here. And before we do anything, let's just click the play button to make sure that Minecraft launches and that all of the files are there. There it actually failed the first time. So I'm just going to click play one more time so that it actually opens. And there we go. Minecraft is open. We can now close this and we want to come here to the add content button. What we're going to have to do is install F saying 18, but also all of the add ons that it needs. So first let's find F saying 18. Here it is. We can click this install button. This will automatically install the mod pack. And so if we click here to go back to it, we can see all of the dependencies have been downloaded successfully. Now I say all of them, but it's not actually all of them. If we click play and we let Minecraft load for a second, we should get an error here. So this is the error that we get. And I wanna encourage you to kind of get in the habit of reading these, especially when modding Minecraft, because it actually tells you exactly what is the problem. So here the CubeJS mod wants the mod Rhino. And we can see currently Rhino is not installed. It also wants Architectury and it's also not installed. So let's go grab those real quick. If we go back up here to our mod pack and click add content, we can search for both of those. So the first one was Rhino and here's Rhino right here. We'll just click install because Modrinth should automatically know what the correct version is. And then the next one was Architectury and here it is here, Architectury API. Let's hit install. Once that's done, let's go back to the FSANG pack and click play one more time. Okay, we got another error. FSANG 18 requires gecko lib and XL packets. So again, these are gonna be two more mods that we need to download. So let's go through them. This process is a little bit convoluted, but there's a lot of dependencies going on and Modern does its best. So let's go back to add content and let's search for the missing ones. The first one is gecko lib. Here it is. And the next one was called XL packets. But if we search this, we see that nothing actually shows up. So what do we do from here? Well, what we're going to do is go into Google and simply type in XL packets mod because that's what we were missing. And then we just hit enter. And here we go. The first one is a CurseForge link. So let's click XL packets. Now this is the mod. We don't want to click download here because we actually want to select a version. So let's click here to files. And here we can see the name of it, the game version and the mod loader. So for Forge, we want the 1.20.1 version. And here we go. It has a bunch of different versions. And here we can see 1.20.1 is supported. So we're going to click this and then we're going to click the download. If we look in our downloads, we now have this mod file. What we need to do is get that into Modrinth. So open Modrinth back up, come back to your mod pack and click this for folder. This will open up the folder that Modrinth is. And specifically, we want to go inside the mods folder. Here's all of the mods that we have downloaded over on this side of the screen. So what we simply need to do is open up a new window and then take this Excel packets and drag and drop it into the mods folder. We can see it automatically shows up here now and we can click the play button. All right, Minecraft is now loaded. Let's click single player and let's create a new world. And here we are in Minecraft. If I open up the creative menu, you can see we have the F Sang Heroes suits and superpowers, so we can now play with them. So that was how to install it using Modrinth from scratch. Now there are other ways like through CurseForge or doing it manually. So let me just show you how you can find these mods and how you can find their dependents to download them. Back in Google, let's just search F Sang 18 Hero Pack. The first thing that pops up is this FSANG 18 Hero Pack from CurseForge. If we click on it, this is the mod that we downloaded. Since it's here, you're able to search it through the CurseForge launcher. But one thing I want you to look at is the relations here. Automatically, it'll be selected as dependencies. And here we can see every single one of the dependencies that this mod needs. This is kind of for any mod. You want to kind of check that this relations and see if there's any dependencies that you will need because CurseForge sometimes doesn't download them automatically. And here we see we need Curios, Cube JS, Palladium, Pantheon Scent, Pakui, XL packets. And if we look here, these are pretty much the same. However, it is missing a few of them like Rhino and Architectury, but we can get to that here by clicking on CubeJS 
and then also looking at the relations, and here we go. This is what we're missing. With that in mind, it should be really simple now for you to get all of these mods downloaded and playing the FSANG 18 Hero Pack. Now let me show you real quick how to do the fabric version in Modrinth. So we'll come down to Create Profile again, and this time we're going to do Fabric, FSANG, and we're going to select Fabric, and again, choose the game version of 1.20.1 .1 and click Create. This one should load relatively quick, so let's go back to our library and let's find Fabric FSANG. If we open this up, there's no content, so we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. We're going to search for FSANG 18's Hero Pack and click Install, and there it installed some of the dependencies. If we click Play again, we should see the error that says we're missing some dependencies. And here we go. Fabric actually has a lot nicer version of this than Forge does because it tells you exactly the mods and the versions that you need to download. Here we need Rhino, Architectury, Fabric API Base, and Fabric API. To get Rhino, we simply have to search for Rhino and hit Install, Architectury, simply search for it, and download this Architectury API. For the Fabric API, we actually need this Fabric API mod that's right here. So click Install. And we're also going to need an Excel packets just like the other one, but we can see that if we click play one more time. There we go. We need Gecko Lib and XL packets for Fabric. We'll go back to add content here, search for Gecko Lib. Here it is, click download. And just like the Forge version, XL Packets is not available in Modrinth. So we need to come back over to Google and just type in XL Packets Fabric, hit enter. And here is the CurseForge page. And we simply need to go to files and find 1.20.1. .1. And notice here it says Fabric. We'll click on this and then click download. And just like before, we go back to this pack, open up the folder, open up the mods folder, then pull up your secondary downloads folder and grab the Excel packets right here. Now, if we click play for the final time, we should have a fully functional FSANG 18 hero pack in Minecraft. There we go, it's open. And at first it seems like there's nothing here, but actually we have to click this page over here and then we can get to the FSANG 18 hero stuff and there's everything that we need. If that ended up being too much for you, there's still an option you can do. If you come to the search in Modrinth, you can actually search for mod packs and simply look for Palladium. And here we go, we have a bunch of Palladium packs that are already pre-downloaded with the mods. If we look at this one here though, here we go, FSANG 18's Hero Pack is right here. So you can simply install this and play with this one and then turn off whatever mods you don't want. For the Curse Forge, it's as simple as searching for all of these mods here. I'll also link all of the mods down in the description below so you can just download them off CurseForge, or if you use the CurseForge launcher, you simply add them to your mod pack. All right, that's been everything. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.